So a friend of mine, Julius, uh, he visited from um, California and he dropped by Zaragoza to check my build out, which he watches my videos all the time. So I met him in, uh, when we were shopping in San Jose and we exchanged numbers and talked, you know, over Messenger and stuff. But he's pretty cool. He's from Lithuania, I believe, and originally, and he lives in California, drives a big rig, you know, dream job kind of for some men. So he was telling me that he bought, you know, his wife kind of owns uh, some rice land or she can uh, acquire the rice land, you know, it's a uh, multiple owners so she can get uh, a piece of it for um, not that much. So the point is that he was talk, asking me how much to build a house on there. And I immediately thought of another friend of mine named Alan that is doing exactly that. He picked out a piece of property and it's on the, it, it was a rice field. So this is him, this is his build in the background. And they're, um, what they did, they went, they left it down low right where the rice field, cause rice fields are low. And, um, and they flood, you know, when it rains, they flood. So he went ahead and uh, pumped it out. It was really below the water level. He pumped it out, uh, dug dug out the footings way deep, and then put tie beams in there with them and everything, and then started backfilling it with this. So he's got the power equipment out there. He's super, uh, I guess he's rich. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, he's not rich. He just... Uh, He's wise and saved his money good. So, uh, so that truck brings it in from from wherever they get it, and it's backfill. So, I'm not sure exactly how much it costs. Welcome to 62 to Freedom. It's a build day, 275, and it's Saturday, payday. <clears throat> uh. So it's my payday too. <laughs> Finally, you know, because I went over a thousand subscribers, they started uh, uh, YouTube started to pay me like five bucks a day. Woo! I'm gonna be rich. But five bucks a day is better than a blank, right? <clears throat> Another couple years and. I'll be making what the labor a labor makes here. Just give me two more years. Get up to like 5,000 subscribers. Anyway, more people watch this channel. There's more watch time on this channel than uh, for non-subscribers than there is subscribers. So if you're watching and you're not you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to see this beautiful view with oh uh, a bad camera. It does look nice here every day, doesn't it? There's the moon. The moon over in the Vineville. This is, for my new subscribers, this is, this is the Sulu Sea. Y'all call it, the rest of the world probably calls it Ch South China Sea, but this is international waters of the Philippines, so they could call it what they want, and they call it the Sulu Sea. Therefore, it is the Sulu Sea. Not, not a brain teaser not a brain teaser so that's what i call it they call it that so i call it the sulu sea and it is the sulu sea anyway if you're a new subscriber we're located i call this property nirvanaville because man it's like nirvana to me beach with no tourists <laughs> and uh sunsets like you will not believe it's unfathomable, really. And then, uh, the location is Zaragoza, Bugasong, Antique, Panay Island, Western Visayas, Philippines. This island is shaped like a triangle and this island is on the, if you look down on the map and all the group of Philippine islands, 
This is the most westerly island. It's all the way on the west coast, like California would be in the United States. And it's on the west side of the island. So that's how I see the Sulu Sea right here. So I'm on the west side. So the sun sets right out there. And this it's like eight o'clock in the morning. And so there you go. Bam. My obligatory shot into the sun. And uh, you know, y'all can look at welds on the film and it doesn't damage your eyes. You just can't look right at it live. Anyway, this is the perfect place for the ring of fire because out there beyond that horizon there's an island called Palawan I believe it's called and it stretches all the way along the length there and so that protects this this coast from tsunamis which they rarely have in the Sulu Sea I mean you know it's the Pacific Ocean and Atlantic, right? You got to worry the most about because in the Indian, I guess. Because wow, look at those colors down there. Woo -hoo. Anyway, and then right on my back to the east, there's a mountain range. The top of them trees are actually the mountain. It's so anyway, the mountains go up. The mountains come right by the coast right here, and. Uh, all the storms, typhoons, they call them here, they come right out of the Pacific Ocean. So they hit the Easterly Islands, and then they hit another Easterly Island, and another one, about three islands. And you know, every time it, when a storm comes on land, it loses power. So the de devastating storm Cayenne that hit Tacloban, I don't know, like 10 years ago, it came on shore like it was 200 miles. It was a world record, I believe, at the time, or it still might be. It was called Yolanda and Haiyan. So the Philippines always names their own storms and then the rest of the world names whatever they want. So it was Haiyan and Yolanda, if you want to look it up. It came on shore at like 200 miles an hour. It was a world record for a uh, storm landing, uh, hitting on land. And so by the time it got here, it was only like 130 miles an hour or 140 or something like that, which is still, it's a heck of a storm, but you know, by the time it got across those three islands and over, top, over these mountains right behind me, it lost a lot of power, you know? <laughs> so that's a good thing. And also this house is solid concrete. There's some hollow blocks in uh, drainage ditches, see right there. And in that ba outdoor bath right there was made of hollow blocks, that's it. So, like I said, this is build day 275. They're gonna see what the progress is up here. So they're working on the stainless railings. It's the focus right now, really. And you see how they're gonna rough in all the stainless railing. A daggone good job. <laughs> so they're, they're gonna rough them all in and then they're gonna fine tune everything after the welding is all done. Then they could uh, fix the welds, blend the welds in and stuff like that. Woo! We got a railing going on today. This is exciting. And... Certainly, they're the boys, sir. The ball in the top, not in the center. Uh, we, the, we don't have enough, do we? Yeah, no, no order of the center. Only this. Yeah. The ball. Why, what do you think? What's normal? Uh, Depends of you, sir. Or another ball there. Because this is a poster. Right. The post is like that, sir. Yeah. No ball. So, do we have enough balls to go on there? Uh, the ball is uh, on, only the order, sir. I, I, that wasn't meant to be it. <laughs> <laughs> like this, sir. What? Like this. What do you mean? The post. The post. 
Yeah, like this. With a ball on the top? Uh, no, sir, because uh, this uh, not the... Uh... It kind of interferes with your hand sliding down, doesn't it? Yeah. Like if, like if, that, if somebody's old, they're like, <laughs> they're going to run into that ball. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Like yeah. this, sir? Yeah, no, okay. yeah. Because I don't think we ordered a ball for there. No, sir, no. Yeah. So pretty soon they'll be uh, welding on a bunch of stainless steel balls on the top of all these boats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> yeah. It's shiny too. You know, you look into it, you can see yourself in there. Tomorrow. The whole family of mine is going off to a place. <laughs> it's called Barbaza. Oh, yeah. I got I forgot my password. I changed my password. And I forgot what it was to my online banking. So I gotta go home and take care of that, man. Anyway, 62's gotta go do some boring stuff. I cannot cut bananas. I want to cut the bananas, but I cannot cut the bananas. So I'll probably get another shirt while I do that. If I accomplish that pretty quick, I'll come back and um, chop these bananas up. First, we're going to see what Gary needs. If Gary needs any knickknacks, knickknacks for the bill. I will go get those first before I try to tackle this major problem because I messed up and I, used, I was just using my Weiss online banking to transfer money. And I still can but I ordered something for my daughter's birthday uh, on the internet and I used my visa card because you're protected if you get robbed. You know, the visa card will, uh, you know, it will pay. As long as you, if they catch them, as long as you file charges, it'll be paid for. Anyway, uh, peace out. I'm gonna go try to, because the credit card payment is due now so and I can't get on my online bank. It's not an automatic payment. So I got to get on there and pay it. So I'm at home line again. I live here. <laughs> I live at home line hardware. That's where all my money goes right here. <laughs> Every time I come here, I see something else I need. If I could just close my eyes and come here. <laughs> uh, McShane has arrived. So I gave him a bunch and they only gave me back a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so it's, it's her fault right here <laughs> and hers come again all right i will come again okay. i'll see you guys later Peace. wow look at how my well, alan's going all out how many cubic 20 20 cubic 5,000. so that's much cheaper than i'm buying sand and rock three-quarter rock i pay 1200 per cubic for wash sand and fine sand and three-quarter wash rock is 1200. he's getting going he filled up this part was just as low as that down there that you see down there at the bottom of that fence down there so this has all been filled in and uh it went up when he when i first came here this bathroom wasn't even here this bathroom was not here you walked around this corner and you walked right up to this tower. When I first saw the building up close, and I didn't want to bother them too much while they were building, and I didn't know Mateo was here really. All of a sudden, there's going to be no pressure. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Oh, yeah. That's like that's not. That's like back in the 1900s or something. <laughs> that's why I like the well water from it. That's why I put my septic tank where the bathroom is underneath the outdoor bath. Oh, yeah, that's good. And then my well is on the other side of the yard, all the way up at the 
hillside. They brought out the stick to find the uh, oh, spring one. Oh, yeah. The source. Yeah. The source. Yeah, he, the well had, and then when they dug down there, there was four sources. You know the... Dowsing rod. Yeah, the dancing rod. Yeah. They turned it like this. <laughs> yeah. going out. See it dripping down there? Ow! Oh yeah. Drain. Got to make sure the young ones don't perish in the, the heat. You know, it's the dry season right now. It don't rain that much. Not enough for young plants. They need to be pampered, just like anything, any other young, young. Got to pamper them every once in a while. Give them some water, some fertilizer or something. Because this dirt around here is not all that great. So, I'm going to give them a good drink. Who wouldn't want good drink in the mid Day sauce. I know that banana tree loves me. I can feel it. I can feel it sending the love. Thank you. You're welcome, banana tree. Big monkey's gonna take care of you. We're gonna have a symbiotic relationship. Yes, we are. You keep giving me good, clean bananas. And I will, I will pamper you. I'll take your dead limbs off and give you water when it's too hot. You're very accurate. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you missed your finger that whole time. <laughs> I'm so happy. So another day is in the books, another payday. And uh, I'm going out of town tomorrow. So I ordered them like 150 call blocks for Monday. Uh, because I'm going to San Jose Monday and just off on a family outing tomorrow. You'll see where that's at, Barbaza. That's where we're going, but you'll see what we're doing later. I'm not gonna tell you. So, uh, you see the stainless rail out there. They still got a public rail and weld the ball on there. I'm gonna try to find uh, a smaller welder rod Monday when I go to San Jose, along with uh, a myriad of other things. So, I'll see you guys and peace out. Oh, I took a shower, another uh, mountain, underground mountain spring shower.